In the beginning, there was the Eurozone. Members and would-be members were expected to limit their government deficit to 3% of gross domestic product and public debt levels to 60%. This was meant to confine crises to the past and guarantee stability. So far, so good. But in 2008, a crisis broke out and many member states came clean about not having followed the rules after all. The crisis had many causes, but it didn't help that all the countries had been doing their own bookkeeping and budgeting in isolation. So in 2010, when the European Union defined its new strategy for growth, the objectives included better coordination of national policies in the areas of budget, growth and employment. The member states and EU institutions now work closely together to a precise timetable during the preparations of national budgets. This process, known as the European Semester, allows the EU to keep a close eye on the countries. All these institutions have their say on the subject. First, the European Commission sets the priorities of the EU for the year ahead. The European Parliament and the EU Council then discuss and approve them. At the beginning of every year, each member state is scrutinized on their economic situation, their reform programs and potential imbalances. The Parliament can invite the presidents of other institutions to discuss issues related to the European semester and call for dialogue with member states. At the spring meeting of the European Council, the heads of state and government set the economic and fiscal guidelines for the EU. It's then up to member states to follow these in their reform agenda and their plan to guarantee sound public finances. The EU institutions then review the economic situation and policies of each state and issue country-specific recommendations. These recommendations then have to be followed by member states when drawing up their national budgets.